scenario-based planning, what could happen. Um, we work on a, you know, a red, green, amber, and black system, and we're in amber at the moment, so we have to figure out whether we're moving to red or black. And all this logistics then, sitting down, will, will, will tell us where we should be going. And uh, sorry for my ignorance, but what does amber mean? It means that this what thing... So exactly what it means when we're looking at it, it's a risk matrix and it means that we're in a normal state of policing, that we don't move to red where we're experiencing severe impact and black means that we're at demands that are at a level where the business as usual cannot be sustained. So we're in amber, we're in normal policing times, crime is stable, policing is stable. Next stage is there's a severe impact on services. We haven't arrived there, but we need to plan for that as part of our risk mitigation, business continuity, contingency planning, and black then is when basically everything fails and we, we need as much assistance as we can get. Okay. So yeah, I know there was some concern when this announcement was made that maybe there were security concerns here, but it sounds like from what you said that this is kind of part of the standard uh, ramp up that would be happening before hurricane season anyway. I think security is just a global reference to, you know, the range of services that these people can provide. Logistics, communications. Um, I will have some issues with my helicopter during the summer period because of servicing, with one being off island, being retrofitted, and the other one having to go for service. And some of the discussions taking place with the visiting team will be how can I use the services they have here to maintain helicopter cover here on island. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you very much, Kayla. Now we're going to go to our panel, beginning with the Honourable Premier. Thank you, Donna. Hello, everyone. 